Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back today with another quick and easy way to build your card stash. Last weekend during World Card Making Day, I shared lots of videos where I shared ways to quickly and easily either build your card stash so you have cards to send or if you were going to give out sets as gifts. If you have not watched those videos, I will link the playlist below and I'll pop it up in the upper right hand corner now. One of my most popular videos from last weekend, it was actually a three part video, I showed you how I made these Z fold cards. Viewers liked how the cards, even though they used the same papers, they didn't necessarily look the same because some of the papers were in different places and you saw different things from the front. So I wanted to use this same concept, but try cards that open horizontally. So that's what I'm back to do today with you. In the last video I shared with the portrait orientation cards, I was able to get 12 cards created. With the new orientation, I think I will be getting nine cards completely finished at the end of this. And I'll be using four pieces of pattern paper and some card stock. The pattern paper that I'm gonna use today is the Peachy Evergreen, and it is one of the new Hot Buy pads at Michael's for Christmas. But I already pre-selected my papers, so I'll share those with you. This has a pretty pink metallic foil on it, and I just love the peachy colors. Three of these papers I will cut the same exact way, and one of them I will cut differently, just like in that original video. For my papers that I cut the same way, I'm gonna use the three here on the left. So for now, I'm gonna set the green one aside and I'll come back to that later. Here is how you're going to cut all three of these. First, you're gonna slice five and a quarter inches from the top so if your pattern paper doesn't really have a top don't worry about it but if it does you want to make sure that it is on the left or right because I don't like the way my trimmer has the five and a quarter there isn't a line for it I'm actually gonna cut it to six and three quarters and this on the left will be my five and a quarter piece The next slice will be at two and three quarters. And then the last one will be at four inches, which is what you have left. Each piece will have this, and then we'll go in and cut these. The five and a quarter inch piece, we're gonna cut to three pieces that are four inches wide. The next strip, which was two and three quarters inches, we're gonna cut this into three pieces that are three and three quarters inches. And finally, the four inch strip gets cut into four pieces that are two and a half inches wide. So I'll do that with these other two pieces and I'll be back. I have now cut all the pattern papers that get cut the same way. So I will pull in my fourth pattern paper and I will cut this into six pieces that are two and a half by four. I will put my top to the right I'm gonna cut the two strips of four first, and then cut these until I get six pieces. While I have my trimmer out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the card bases. So I am going to grab five pieces of white card stock, and I'm gonna cut each of these in half to four and a quarter by 11. That will actually yield me 10 card bases, so I will just have an extra for later. I 
I will also need white cardstock for this three by four on front and then the two and three quarters by three and three quarters piece of white that will go on the inside where the personal message can be written. So I will go ahead and cut that now until I yield nine pieces of each. And for now, I'm gonna set this to the side to use for the pieces that go on the inside of the card. The four inch pieces, I'm gonna cut into three by fours, again, until I yield nine. And now I'm gonna cut the two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch pieces. And here are my nine pieces for the inside of my card. Once all the cutting is done, I'm going to prepare my card bases. And this is gonna be super similar to what we did with the other set that I shared that opened portrait. You fold the card in half, and then the flap that would be the front if you open like that, gets folded back to the fold that we just created. And I will finish these and be right back. Alrighty, since all of the card bases are ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and take my two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch pieces and put each of those on the three by four mats. The next step that I do in this process is to start putting together my card kits or the pieces that I will have on each card. This piece will go on the front like this. So I need a pattern paper for this panel, the inside panel and here. So I want to make sure that I'm not having any of the same patterns on top of each other. So since I have the floral here, I'll put the birds inside. I think I'll have a green here. And then how about one of these on the inside here? Now the next one, I can still have a floral on front but then I could choose to have the metallic fleck on the inside, maybe the birds here, and the green on the inside like that. So that's how you can kind of have the same card, but they don't look exactly alike. So I'll go ahead and put the card kits together, and I'll see you in a little bit. I have all nine of my card kits ready, so then I just start adhering the pieces onto the card base. You will notice that I will have birds next to the inside bird panel. You could go back through and adjust the other pieces you used in different card kits if that bothered you, but you won't be able to see the second bird panel when it, the card is closed, so I'm going to go with it. That is all done, so now it is time to adhere the front 3x4 card. Now just like last time, you can only put adhesive on the back left half of this, otherwise you are going to glue your card shut just like that and then we put one of the white pieces of cardstock on the inside for our personal message
I will continue with those and show you what I have when I'm all done. And just like that, I have nine card bases ready to go. Unlike the last video where I went ahead and finished them off with sentiments and some twine, for these right now I'm going to leave them as is. That way when an occasion comes up that I need a card for, I could find a stamp that would fit the occasion or maybe a die cut that would fit the occasion or a colored image. This leaves me cards that are ready to go quickly in my card stash. I'll show you how I finished again the cards off last time. I had a fishtail banner that I tied some hemp twine at the top and I might do something similar with these. Maybe do a fishtail banner that goes horizontally here and maybe stamp a sentiment. But for now, like I said, I'm going to leave them like they are. If you enjoyed this video today and would like to see more videos similar to this where I help you build your card stash, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If this is your first time to my channel and you like what you saw and you would like to see more, make sure to hit subscribe below and click on the bell for notifications. And as always, thank you so much to my regular viewers and subscribers who always stop by. You know I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye.